the Quakers came with an understanding of trying to coexist. Uh, interestingly enough, there's no record of them really trying to evangelize, to proselytize among us in any hef heavy way like some of the other groups did, but uh, they sought to live among us. Um, and early on, especially at the point where many of our people were being moved out uh, during the early uh, uh, British colonial rule, the, um, the Quaker communities set up safe zones for us, uh, which is ironic because it was all our land, but, but they set up safe zones, and in, in southern New Jersey they were called Indian fields, where uh, little areas where uh, Indian populations continued to live in the old way, little Indian towns, sometimes with some adaptation uh, to some of the European ways, you know. But uh, they were, we were able to continue to, to live together in that, in that fashion. A lot of it was because of the very different view of, of um, how to live among us and that the Quakers had versus those that came that did not have that belief. And the Quakers, from what I understand, have always been given toward an, uh, an attitude of toleration and peaceful coexistence. And their attitude was also different when they engaged us because they did not necessarily view us uh, with the disdain that some other groups coming from Europe did uh, and found that they came here viewing us as, as uh, fellow humans, as, as equals, um, and that certainly did mark a different type of relationship. Interestingly enough, it's a relationship that continues to this very day. Uh, my tribe has a close relationship with, with the Quakers of the region, uh, and uh, we still meet together on a pretty regular basis.